Ah, uh, you cameraman, get out of here. Put it up there. You hear me on the walkie talkie, man? Do you hear this? Are you getting this, man? All right. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the the only kangaroo you got to see is a dead one. Ain't that some shit? Times are tough nowadays. The van right now smells good. God. Yeah. I heard you get kicked off the floor. Fuck you. Look at this rail. Look at this rail. Repeat. Coming up to your left hand side. Look to your left, it's low. Get a switch stand double nolly over it. Over. I gotta get out of here. I gotta set some bombs over and out. Get this off, Tom. Damn it. All right. <laughs> about my nuts being swollen when I'm sitting on the handrail like this. You know what I mean? That's when I'll worry about it. But until then, I'm going for the rail. Because if you, if you burn yourself, it blows your whole game plan. Skateboarding is like the craziest drug in the world. You know, and it shows me love and it shows me hate, but no matter what, my skateboard will always be there. You know, I can't say no. <laughs> the bad thing about it is because I can laugh it off and say, hey, I'm an old man. You don't have to take me seriously. You know, I was pro before you. I was world champion before. Are you in diapers, you know? And there's a, I can say all that crap and then get away with my stupid little trick. I'm not that type of person. I'm not like standing there going, oh, I'm Gershon Mosley. Just, you know, I, I just, I'm usually just kind of sitting in the corner or something like hanging out. Look at Gershon, man. I'm Gershon Mosley right there. Hey, I get your autograph, dude. I get your autograph, dude. I love skateboarding. Skateboarding is my life, but. You know, like, there's another side of me, you know, it's not, you know, I'm not all skateboarding. Like, the dog came over, sniffing everybody, he tried to do a Jedi mind trick, like, because they're not the droids we're looking for, but they didn't like it, they just, just went in there. You got Jerron here at Wilson? How are you? This my boy right here, teammate. You know, skateboarding's been the rarest thing for me because, because it's a prolonged childhood. I never grow up. Hey, where the blood at, fool? We're doing something that we love to do, and I think people that don't do that hate that. They hate it so much.
I don't know. In, g in general, we're pretty much uh, probably considered a subspecies of the human <laughs> human population. Have we got anyone stupid enough to throw a beer bottle on the road? What? No, pardon? No way. No like way. Hey, to tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, we had some stupid kids up in here, and like they were starting to fight, and we, we kicked them out. Excuse me, mate. These guys are pros from America, and they've like, come out here on their tour. They and they, they these kids are fighting in a room, they started throwing stuff, out, 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 and kicked their ass out. out. Being white kids, they were kicked out, and the reason they were kicked out was because they were being fucked with us. Hey, did you see if they were? One at a time, one at a time. Okay, they were kicked out. It was a lot of life and death for me. Like, my parents were disturbed to the point where they made me quit because they go, look, you, you're turning into a freak. And, uh, <laughs> and, and I guess so, because that was everything to me. Absolutely everything. I mean, I did my school, I did my, I mean, I live in the country, there's nothing to do besides, you know, you do your homework and you skate and talk to the cows and the dogs. Rodney Muller can skate everything, dude. The only reason he won't go out and do that is because why learn a trick in front of 10,000 kids when you know every other one? And I'm still kind of serious, you know. I mean, I try hard when I'm out there. But, hey, I'm the old man. I'm just glad to be here. They think we got beef because I skated for world. And we had bad terms. They wrote something about me in the magazine, and I remember I called them up like little hyper kid, and dissed them. But I got nothing but love them. We're older. We're on another level. I think Rodney's rad, man. He's complete opposite of the type of skating that I that I do myself. But but I, I have so much respect for him because he's so consistent and he does these tricks that you know, like it's basically a math equation. The trick itself, you know. And he does it every time, you know, he's, he's just, it's all calculated and it's sick. Like, you can totally see Rodney's personality in skating. I haven't known Rodney that long, but, geez, and Chat, of course. You know, they, I don't know, those guys have been, like, super good. Like, they're more, like, family to me than anybody else has been. And Gershaw would always just be his own thing, you know? And I'd see him at the contest and he'd be killing it. Just in his own world, click, click, everything Gershaw's intimidating everyone to death. And then I realized, man, this guy is, an, is the raddest guy. I, I have more fun doing it for myself than doing it for a crowd. And I figure if I do it the way I want to do it, then other people will be happy. Everything is Gershon's strain. Like, you can take him anywhere. Every single demo we've gone to, he's ripped, you know? Because like, he goes out there and he's like a machine, you know? Like, you just turn the switch on, he goes out there, he skates, and you've got to stop him. It's not like I'm going through like a really traumatic life or anything, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to deal with just people on a regular regular basis because most people don't look at you as a person. They look at you as, oh, that's that guy from the magazine or the video. And it's just hard to like be looked at like that for me because of my background, I'm not used to the people prying into my life, so it's weird. He's one of the most amazing people I've met. In that he's like, he's so conscious of what he can do, and he's been through so much, but he remains like such on a tight, straight course of, um, he keeps himself in check. He never lets him fall out like, yeah, I'm this, or I'm the best, or, and not to say that, you know, not to say that there aren't people like that who are always humble, but, but, but Gershon is so extreme. Guy just kind of, he's like the godfather. <laughs> he just sits there and he just kind of dictates or whatever. Yeah, I think that's what they do. Yeah, 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 that's what they do. And it's rad to learn something new about somebody. Like, be like, wow, I didn't even know that they skated like this, or they even liked this type of skating. Uh, goes up and down, basically. And how did you do that one over there? Uh, yeah, was, going right I guess doing that um, tail drop yesterday. Um, <laughs>
And then there's Ryan. His personality is like really, I don't know, he, he's super mellow, just kind of cruises with everything. But I don't know, you get him on a skateboard, he's Tasmanian devil. <laughs> I learn more every day on my skateboard, like real life stuff. In the end, it's an opportunity, you know? When you can step on a skateboard, there's so many different paths that you can take. Does it look even? Does it look even? It doesn't really matter to me. Ah, I like that. A little swap. Now I gotta go to 104 and smoke the boys out. Are they down there? Yeah, you wanna go down there? Yeah. Moms get liberties, you know, with their children. And when he was little, he was Mikey. And when he got older, he was Michael. So he's just. Mike to the world and Michael to me. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's all hyper and you can tell like when he's into it, he does his tricks and he's all, he gets all into it, you know, like, I don't know, he just, I don't know, he does funny stuff. Like he'll, he'll just do poses or whatever. His uh, character is always showing through. When it comes to skateboarding, I'm 12 years old, still loving it. Like I need to ride. Setting up boards, I do it carefully. I won't just slap on grip tape. Like, I look at my boards in the concave and look at the colors. I mean, hey, it's fun. It's still supposed to be a fun little thing. And the young ones, like, I know it's hard on Mike York. Because I used to have temper tantrums. King stressor, I was the main stress case. Turning pro, I had to, like, you know, grow up and be like, okay, I can't stress skating. And if it takes me 10 hours to do a trick, oh well. I'll be 10 hours better when I land it. He's a good kid. I respect him. I do. I respect that kid a lot. If it died out, I wouldn't care. I would still skateboard. Because money can't buy that feeling of landing a trick, of accomplishing something like, yeah, rolling away is some, is some sh <laughs> It definitely is.
on tour and all these people are there and I'm tripping out. I'm going crazy because they're coming after me, autographs, autographs. I throw the pen away and I go, look, don't you understand? I'm just like you. I, I, I shouldn't be signing autograph. I'm just a dork. Like I, I just been around skating a little longer and here I am. And all they came back to them was he's too stuck up to sign the autograph. And so I was, I was having a hard time with adjusting to public life. It's just weird dealing with kids looking up to me. I do it for myself, but at the, at, at the demo and stuff, there's a lot of times that I'm doing stuff for the people there too, because I don't necessarily, maybe don't necessarily feel like, you know, doing it, but I, I'm like, well, I want to stoke these people out, you know? I think that's why skateboarding is so special is because whether you're whether you're doing it or you're watching it like when you see people do things you get get really excited whether you clap or not I know I can do it, but it's not worth me hurting myself, you know I mean? It's like every, I don't know, every situation is different. Get on a plane at six in the morning, go to the hotel, you know, go to the demo, come back to the hotel, party, you know, like, it's just, it's cool, but you can do that anywhere, you know? Everything's still filtering, like, I'm still getting used to, like, where I am, and, like, we've been flying around so much, it's, it's all jumbled, like, I have to, like, I have to sit down and think about, like, what, 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 what happened here, you know?
never run out of batteries on that thing. Ask Keith, I won't say anything. You gotta shake the camera like you're saying yes. <laughs> there you go. See, I know all that camera shit. Hey, if you put that in the video, dude, I'm gonna come back and have someone kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. sometimes you want to be filmed and like sometimes... Well, my friend wanted a board, so we threw it in the good old creek over there. A couple of them got bit by some wasps, but uh, I think they're going to live. It's just a disease-infested creek, and they love this. To me, being a pro skater is going up to these kids, going to these demos, going to events, and like taking your pictures and filming your videos. That's how you, you know, show that you're a pro skater. Anyone could have a deck, because that's nothing. That's just material stuff with your name on it. Like, I could write my name on something. It's like earning that title, though, for real. I'll see how the thing's going. You can turn my set up in the creek. Give me some room back here, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Game over. Game it doesn't matter who you are. It's like, if a little kid is going to look at me and go, you're one of my favorite skaters, I'm going to be like, dude, thank you so much. That's so cool. Because I know how it was when I was looking at, like, Gons, Nottis, like Tommy Guerrero when I was little. He's good, he's good, he's good! Oh, now you're now you kissing ass to find out you're still up. He's not talking shit. He didn't even know you were pissed. Yeah, there you go. How kids approach you is kind of kind of weird, you know, they, how they come up and just ask for things before they say, hi, my name is so and so. He was in the creek, actually. Did you get bit by anything in the creek? No, I grabbed it and I'm like, gosh, oh, he, had, he had it like that. Serious? Yeah, you almost had it, so that was good. What are you gonna give me that for doing it, huh? You got the thrill of being on videotape, and you jumped in the creek and probably be in a documentary. <laughs> that <won't make> it. <laughs> Who got it? Where's the guy at? I don't know. I got Well, the man just pulled it over to the creek, and everyone was around, and he threw it in, so I just had to go get it. It was mine. Oh, it was pretty rotten, eh? Is that? Oh, I'm not too sure, right? Eh? Okay. Should have threw it out a little farther. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be false to a kid. I don't want to sit there and bullshit him. I want to, you know, tell him how it is, you know? I think at the end of it, they're just like, what do you say? You know, what does he mean? Like, he just destroyed my, my whole uh, idea of what a pro should be, you know? And, uh, yeah, I've had a little bit, I had just enough fame to know how dangerous it is. And, uh, not rich, but just enough money where I see, ooh, I can play with your mind. Um, yeah, man, this is how many signatures did you get? How many? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Yeah, man, this needs to get on film. Uh, I don't know, three or four, I can't remember. Get the shit on there. Australian girls. <laughs> what about them? Next thing we know is she's like in the van, she's like, hey, you guys should sign something and uh, we're just saying, you know, well, what do you want, what do you want, you know, and she, we're going, you know, you just sign your arm or a poster and she's going, no, I want my d sign, you know, like, I just can't. Can I get you to sign my d as well? Yeah, when I'm inside. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I'm inside. Look, watch it, watch it. Hey, man. So where's, How old are you? where's Kai gonna go then? Oh <laughs> They're all right. Australian girls are pretty cool. Actually, they're some of the most beautiful girls in the world, I think. I'm gonna get a name. Oh, this. Oh, you got that. Your call. <laughs> no, no, sorry. I have morals. <laughs> I've broken up in categories. <laughs> okay, so this is the breast in, in where, where was it? And, uh, uh, not Aladala, what's it, what's it called again? <laughs> Adelaide. <laughs> and then there's the, <laughs> the butts up in uh, Sydney. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is so true. And who is that exactly? Uh, Adelaide. 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 Adela
Me? Yeah, who's that? Right. Who's just your favorite at all? Yep. <laughs> he's sexy. Yep. Thank you. Man. All right, thanks. All right, I look up and there's this girl right there and she wanted me to sign her underwear, so, you know, what was I going to do? Of course, I signed it for her. It's like famous signatures. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so unbelievable that I'm doing this. Here we go, here we go. Oh. All right. Okay, we draw it on there. All right. Excellent. I've got no ill figured brain because you're a dumb Australian. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. And get this on footage. This mother is smoking the weed. And drinking the J J J J D. All right, guys. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey no they place right. all right. Yeah, yeah they're, they're cool, man. Yeah, they're cool. See the horse. Hey, it's just the dumb Cheers. Australian. Okay. Yeah, what up? Can you lose that, mate? Because it's still right. legal in this state. I know. I understand. Thank you. I freak out a lot when people judge me. Like, like I'll hear people going, "These kids wrecking this place, destroying it." These, I hate these kids, they're idiots, da da da. And I'm like, you know, how can you say that we're idiots? We're using our minds on a whole nother level. We may not be learning something out of a book and memorizing something, but we're doing it with our feet. You know, the coordination and everything with our minds and everything. It's, just, it's pretty funny that we're able to flip the skateboard around with our feet. <laughs> not even with our hands, and it's like they don't see what we're doing. They don't see the art form in it. Pretty much create art, like if it's filmed or, you know, like captured somehow it becomes art. So why shouldn't it be called an art form? art will look like yours. You could do the same thing. Everyone could draw a house, but the house will look different, right? Everyone could do a 360 kickflip, but it would be different.
Yeah, I mean, that's what it really is to me. That's what it, I mean, it really is if you love it. And if you see it for the rabbit, well, maybe you just have the young blinders on. Because it's really this art form as well that never stops giving. There's no limit to what you can accomplish in skateboarding if you have the right mindset, you know? There's no end. Without skateboarding, we're nothing. We're just like just ordinary kids. So you come to skateboarding and you find, wow, they're all like me. I'm not leaving. There's no way I'm leaving this is my family. The family is the best way to describe the skateboarding. I respect all skateboarders, anyone who skateboards, to like the top pro, to like you're just getting on it. If you do it and you're serious about what you're doing, then you're rad. If you're just like posing, then whatever. Get no love. <laughs> And the public doesn't know that these guys are walking around. The guys that they're getting tickets and yelled at, and they're talking to the same type of guys that are going to the moon. There is this amazing feeling about being part of something where you're not just doing what other people do, yet you're part of it and needed. And you're in with these, these guys that are so gnarly and they accept you, you know? It's really cool, it's really cool.
Thank you.